everybody, it's Makeup Meanerie. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I do a ton of videos on makeup, easy makeup application, beginner friendly eyeshadow, uh, hair tutorials, you know, all that good stuff. So if that's the kind of thing that you guys like watching, then you're in the right place. We're gonna get started on a requested video. I did a video recently on a Amazon hair bun that I ordered. It is a bright blue bun. I knew that the color was not gonna match. It's hard to match my hair color. I was just excited that they actually had like a blue bun. I was sort of nervous about how it was gonna look, but anyway, it turned out pretty cute. I will insert pictures of it. If you guys have not seen that video, I will make sure to link that up here for you guys to check it out. I talked about maybe trying to vamp up the color, change the texture of the curls because the curls are really like an afro texture and of course my hair is not that texture. You guys wanted to see me either try to fix the color to make it blend more to my color and to change the pattern of the curls a little bit or like I'm known to do with wigs and weave just to completely fuck it up. <laughs> Go ahead and see which way that flows today, I'm not sure. This is what the bun looked like, super, super cute on. Like I said, the texture is just not the texture of my hair, which is fine. I mean, my bun, when I pull it up, you don't see that, but I thought it'd be sort of fun to see if I could change the texture of the hair. Also, I'm gonna attempt to see if I can change the color of this just a little bit, maybe to match my hair a little better. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna first start off by coloring it, of course, or attempting to color it. This is synthetic hair. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're gonna try anyway. So yeah, this is the starting point. This is what it looks like. The blue is definitely not the same color blue as my blue, but we're gonna figure out if this is gonna work or not. And little sister just walked in. She's got sleepy, sleepy eyes. This little hoe's been working full time now, being an adult doing adult things. So she basically goes to work and then comes home and goes to bed. Look at this little sleepy baby. But I'm so proud of her. She's been working full time. She's a vet tech assistant, if y'all didn't know. She knows what she's doing. Do this video and then I'll come chat with you. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to change the color and then I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to change the uh, curl pattern. So yeah, like I said, this is the starting point. Let's get it started. Okay, I'm starting off with this big blue bowl because I already know this shit stains like crazy. I'm using my uh, Ion Color Brilliance in Sky Blue. This is the color that I use in my hair. And then I use Viral uh, Color Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is in blue as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some water, throw this little bitch in there, and get started. Okay, so as you can hear by this music that's going to start playing, <laughs> I tried, but this I seen instantly was like, hmm, this is not really going to work, I don't think. So yeah, I'm just putting in the conditioner in with the water and letting it soak, mix it around. You can see how blue that gets already. That conditioner is no fucking joke. It will stain your soul. So that's why I make sure to put gloves on. Now I'm just dripping some of my um, color brilliance in there, the sky blue, mixing it around. I honestly didn't know, well, let's be honest, I didn't think this was going to work, so I didn't want to waste a whole lot of my product because, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to go to the store and replenish all this when I need it from my own head. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in and let it sit. <laughs> I should have gave a thumbs down. Anyway, I let this shit sit literally for... 
probably like four or five hours because I forgot about it in the room. And this is what it looks like now. In this lighting, it looks more green than it really is. It just looked the same. It really didn't do anything. Um, down towards the base a little bit, it looked a little more uh, blue. But for the most part, this was a big old fat fail. Okay, so you can see here that it's still the blue that it was when it started off. Uh, it does look a little more darker blue at the roots. I don't know why it did it that way. And you could really see it when I roll it up that it's more of a blue, but still not the same color that I was trying to get it to go. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and work on the texture. I pinned this up and it's completely dry. It's been like the next day or so. And now I'm going to go ahead and section out little parts and wet them with just water and brush it out as best as I can. And then I'm going to roll it up in these handy dandy rollers that you guys are very, very familiar with. They are my favorite rollers to use because they're plastic and they just work easy and they're cheap. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and smooth it out as best as I can and roll it up. Now I'm only going to do half of her head because... I was not trying to do the whole head and waste all kinds of time because I was expecting this not to work at all. And I also wanted to be able to show one side to the next to see if it did work, if the texture, you know, looked any different. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and brush this out as best as I can and roll it up. And last little thing to throw in here, with me tugging and pulling on this, it did not have almost, there was no shedding. So Really, really well made for, I think, $12. But anyway, yeah, I'm rolling the rest of it up. Okay, so here is half of the head done. I used two different sizes um, just so that there's a little bit of a variance in size. And now I'm going to go in with my hair dryer and very carefully blow some of this dry. Now this is plastic hair. Plastic does melt when it gets hot. <laughs> so you have to be very, very mindful of that. I just made sure to put it on medium heat. And basically, I'm just wanting to mold the plastic. I'm not trying to dry anything. I'm basically trying to mold the plastic into the shape that I want it to be, which is these bigger curls. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that for a few minutes and then start taking it down and <laughs> crossing my damn fingers to see if this shit actually worked. Okay, so, <laughs> so it actually worked. I'm so damn proud right now because you guys know I be fooling around with these curlers and half the time it don't do nothing but tear shit up. So I'm so proud of myself right now. Um, I could have left the curlers in a little longer to have them form a little better, but I was really trying to see if this was working or not. And I think next time I do this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure to smooth the ends out a little more because those looked a little frizzy because I didn't smooth them out as best as I could. But for the most part, it changed the curl texture. Okay, so here you can see that it actually changed the way that the curls look. Of course, it looks a little wild and I could have did it a little nicer, which I will do next time. Now I'm just going through and separating these curls out a little bit so that you can really see, you know, that it's it, it made it look longer as well, which is nice. And yeah, that is more towards the texture of my hair. So next time I'm going to definitely, like I said, smooth the ends out and do the entire head. But I will show you guys here the difference in the way the curls look. Okay, so I went ahead and separated all those curls out, gave it a little bit of a fluff. Of course, this could be nicer. Um, I will do this again next time, like I said, to make sure everything is nice and neat. But I sort of like these messy looking curly buns that people wear. So I may just leave that side alone and redo the other side. But yeah, here you can see the difference in the length and the texture of the curl. It's not so tight. It's more of a loose curl like my hair is. And yeah, I'm excited that it actually worked. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and do the other side. 
and wear it with a looser curl pattern. I feel like that just looks more like my hair. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.